So here we are under a, a railway bridge in New Zealand. Uh, it's raining a bit, but thankfully I've got uh, the trusty tarp here. So fingers crossed we won't be getting wet tonight. But yeah, this is the start. Another journey, um, seven days hiking through the mountains here. Not really sure what it's going to be like, uh, not really sure what to expect. Hopefully not much rain, but we'll see about that. It's um, not ideal right now. Um, is a train coming? There's something coming, something very loud coming in, it sounds like a train. <laughs> Let's go for this. Oh no! This one's I don't know how many of them are going to come through in the night. I'm hoping not too many, because that was so loud. I can't even believe how loud that was. And the water straight just chucked off down here. Oh my goodness. That was terrifying. I thought the bridge was going to collapse. Right, time for some dinner. So, it's the morning. Um, a little bit of a damp, wet night. That train was horrendous. I got woken up about four or five times of that thing coming over the top there feeling the earth shaking what a beast, it was horrible um, time for breakfast now long day ahead, well I hope it's not too long I've got to get up to a hut and that's going to be, going to be my kind of lifeline today, once I get there I should be able to get everything dry and hopefully maybe possibly stay there two nights uh, depending on how things are going um, other than that, game of today is to stay, aim of today is to stay dry. Uh, I don't know how easy that will be with it pissing it down, but that's what the challenge is all about. <sighs> we are on the road. Now, I think the word today is going to be damp. <sighs> Definitely getting that impression right now. Um, it's going to be a bit of a slog, I think. Hopefully she'll have a nice, cosy, warm hut to get to by the end of the day. But um, yeah, we'll see how things go. So here we are in the middle of the rainforest, heading up the mountain. It has thankfully stopped raining actually. Um, but man, it is steep, very steep. A lot of water coming down here. Um, yeah, quite slippy. Gonna try and be careful. So it's raining again. Um, but look what I found. Well, hey. Got the hut for the night, awesome. Get some sleep and hopefully get some stuff dried off because it has been a pretty grim last, well, like 20 hours out here. I might even spend two nights here to be honest and just recover because um, it's been pretty tiring today. So it's day two, um, and it is absolutely lashing it down outside. Um, yeah, I think I might try and spend a day here instead of going out there because I don't want to get so scared. But yeah, it is grim out there. I'm glad I'm in here. <laughs> you can almost kind of just sit here and watch the mountains slowly reveal themselves from behind the cloud. Um, not much else to do here today, but every now and then you get to see a little bit more of the valley as the cloud slowly lifts up and goes up and down, which is quite cool.
not doing too badly now. Um, the trail's finally cleared up, I can actually start moving. The last two hours have just been bashing through this New Zealand um, grass bush stuff and it's been absolutely painful and every now and then you get a big hole in the ground so you've got to be really careful you step because you find yourself dropping a metre in some hole. Yeah, so we've cleared the pass. Check out the view as well, awesome. Really cool. Um, so yeah, now I've just got to head down to the side. Um, apparently the navigation is supposed to be a bit more tricky on the other side. Um, so, we'll see how that goes. Where is the path? Where does the path go? I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> just seems to have disappeared. Um, there's no more markers at this point, so... Yeah, it could get interesting, like, it could be a bit of bush bashing. Kind of thought I was on a path for a bit, but, um... Yeah. It seems to have dropped over the edge of a cliff, you can see here. Uh, um, we had fun on the way around, aren't we? Whoops. Oh, not ideal. I'm just so thankful we managed to find this sign here. I was stuck down the gorge, down the bottom down here, um, down by the river, and uh, I couldn't cross it, I couldn't get any further down it. Um, and I was really worried that I was going to be stuck on rim rocks. I came on the screen, I wouldn't be able, worried I wouldn't be able to get back up it again. Um, so I came back up the river, I managed to cross over it at one point. Um, it was really fast flowing and really not, really not very fun at all. Um, and then thankfully spotted this absolute beauty <sighs> down there. I couldn't be happier. Oh my goodness. That was not fun, not fun at all, but um, I think we're back on the path. Let's pray for a few more of those, um, and hopefully we don't get lost, because it's not fun, it's not a fun place to be. We're trapped between the side of the gorge and the river, so yeah. Hey-ho, made it through it. So this day has taken yet another turn. Um, now in a slightly creepy forest, um, and this is just like 10 minutes from where I last filmed, so who knows what's going on in New Zealand, like, so random. Um, yeah, only concern is now, still finding the path, it's really hard to find the path here. Um, and sorry, we're on the ring race from Lord of the Rings might come chasing out of here and get me, because it's pretty, uh, pretty spooky, you can see. But yeah, here we go. Weather, who knows what's coming up next. Um, keep it coming, New Zealand. It's been a hard day so far. <sighs> Pretty shattered. But made it out of the forest. So that's good. Uh, made it out alive. It's not too bad. Now down at the bottom river. About a mile left to go. I think we can make it. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not going to be too bad. Um, I'm looking forward to having a rest tonight. And this isn't even supposed to be the tricky day, so God knows what's gonna happen tomorrow. But um, hot springs, that's the plan. Getting in them, getting washed, getting clean, that is the game tomorrow. But um today, yeah. Get through here, get to the boulders, and get today done and get some sleep. <sighs> Looks like we've done it again. But hey, another day ticked off.
Okay, so we're back in the land of the forest. Uh, you can see the trail behind me is pretty much what we've got going on at the moment. Quite muddy, quite damp, very green. Pretty cool though. I feel like you set into like Jurassic Park or something here. Really awesome. Yeah. Made out of the forest, just got out now. This is my lunch spot for today. Um, we're going for about four, four or so hours. Um, doing about a kilometer for an hour. See that? Um, really slow going, really tough. I haven't even got to the really hard bit yet, so today's gonna be interesting. I think I can at least get back to the road in two days. That's all that matters really, um, at speed. But as long as it's gonna get harder, that's all, all I'm too bothered about at the moment. Um, fingers crossed we can see on the bank of the river, actually kind of see ourselves going past and being stuck in the dense forest jungle. It really is a jungle. Um, birds flying around, spiders, rotting huge logs to cross. Absolute challenge and a half. It's taken, out, taken it out of me and I really want some lunch. Um, so yeah, um, let's see how the rest of it goes. <laughs> So I thought I'd managed to follow the path the whole day today, um, but I don't think this is the path anymore. Oh well. But one thing I can smell here is some eggy, sulfury smell, so could be the hot springs. Reckon it is. I don't know where they are though. Um, slightly anxious that they're on the other side of the river. So yeah, I might have to cross this if we do see them, but otherwise I might just go Find somewhere nice to sleep. I don't think we're going to go to hut today, tomorrow. And uh, yeah, find somewhere nice to sleep there tonight. But good progress, made it most of the way. Um, yeah, solid day really. So, Survived yesterday. It was pretty tough, pretty long going. Um, made it to this lake. Quite a cold, <laughs> quite an uncomfortable night. But um, yeah, we made it through. And yeah, yesterday was just a really quite humbling experience with all the forest and the rocks. Um, so it wouldn't be one I'd be repeating anytime soon. But yeah, it's been a good life lesson for sure <laughs> um, but no still together still strong still got lots of food and yeah still still enjoying me out here so cannot complain but yeah let's see how today goes First thing in the morning, another river crossing down. Feet feel refreshed. Ooh, some glacial water in the morning, lovely. I think I can see the end of the valley. Just out there behind me. Nearly there. It's gonna get a lot easier after that. Oh my goodness. We are finally out of here. Um, it's taken five long, long days to get from the Waitaki River um down to here and i thought it would take a day and a half so i've been truly humbled um by this valley and it's just been a pretty tough and blood sweat tears experience getting through that and that has been a real journey <laughs> five days to get through that not again <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so it is the last day. Just leaving the Kiwi hut here behind. Get that thing locked up. Kiwi hut locked up. And now heading down to the road. So I think it's about 9Ks or so, so maybe two or so hours, two or three hours maybe down there. Hopefully the river crossings aren't too bad. Um, met some local hunter guys who were in there last night and we had a good chat this morning about um, crossing rivers. And apparently we Europeans have been doing it very wrong. Uh, we shouldn't be taking our boots off apparently. Um, obviously they're a lot harder here and they just storm through the rivers. I'm not sure I'm going to be doing that. I think I will be keeping my socks dry today. But man, that would save so much time instead of having to faff about taking boots off. Straight through the rivers here. Um, maybe I should start doing that. <laughs> we'll see. But hey, here we go. Last day, short walk. Um, I think we're going to survive. I think we made it. Um, yeah, it's going good. Going good. Well, that is it pretty much. You can just see civilization across the side. Six days in the forest and the mountains. A couple more rivers cross for back to civilization. Yeah, we made it. Made it out alive. Feels pretty good. That's done. New Zealand, trekking, Arthur's Pass, National Park, humbling. It's been ticked off. It's done. Um, time to go home. <laughs> <laughs>